If you were like me and your View app running on your Android device was not working very well, pixelated, buffering, or whatever, uh, Mr. Uh, Sign Carver from uh, Silicon Dust Forum gave me a clue or actually told me how to resolve the issue. And the way it was, you just click the uh, uh, pause play button a dozen times and it brings up the menu and I will show you that in just a minute but right now the way you want to monitor it is go to your uh, network tuner monitor which Mr. Warpster also on the uh, Silicon Dust Forum he created this little uh, application and it is awesome but anyway you want to monitor your uh, device here this tells you what your what channel is streaming and the bit rate so now show you that and I'll show you how to do it on the TV okay now what we're going to be doing we're well, going to be using a remote and this particular one is the air mouse that came with my uh, Minix uh, Android box but this button right here that's the uh, pause and play button if you click that a dozen times it will get you into the uh, menu for the uh, uh, Silicon HD home run uh, view app Again, thanks to Mr. Sign Carver from uh, Silicon Dust Forum, showed me how to get into the HD Home Run uh, View app running under Android. And I, I couldn't figure it out, and he told me how to do it. So I will pass that on to show you how to get into it. So all we have to do is the pause play button on the remote about a dozen times, and then it will take you into the configuration setup screen. There it is. Now, mine, it was not set to M2, uh, MPEG-2 hardware decoder, so I had to check that because mine does hardware decoding. Same way with that one. And all your uh, M logic, uh, CPUs or SOC system on chips, they all support hardware decoder. So that's one good thing about the M logic. It also was set to uh, transcode. Okay, I had not set it to uh, mobile, but it was set on mobile, so it does it by itself. So, uh, go back to disabled, and there's a version number. So, anyway, I just want to show you, that's how you get into the configuration screen. So, thank you much, and thank you, Mr. Sattencarver.